Hello, this reading is for anybody that is in feminine energy. Um, this applies to gay and lesbian couples too. It's just whoever is in feminine energy and whoever is in masculine energy, so don't get too caught up on the wording. Last reading we did, we were getting that um, those in the masculine energy were working through a lot, car cutting out karmic uh, relationships, um, healing from toxic patterns with their exes, trying to move past fear and doubt and you know your energy and your support your love for them you know you've been their rock so that that energy is really helping them um work through a lot of these issues that they have you know a lot of them see you as their angel they see you as their their guiding light um getting them through this darkness uh you know you've been supportive when no one else has you've been there for them but like I did say in my last video, you know, if you've been in a merry-go-round, if this has been going on for a long time, it's ultimately your decision if if this isn't worth it to you anymore and you want to let go of, you know, your twin flame or your soulmate and try to manifest someone else. You know, I just made, I just did a video about how you do have multiple potential life partners. Um, you know, you have, you have an entire soul group. You have more than one soulmate. So you know, it's your destiny. It's, it's ultimately, it's your path. It's up to you. Um, if at any time you want to get off the merry-go-round, you can, you know, for some of you, you've just been going in circles for others. You know, I do feel union is closed for a lot of you, you know, I don't want to say that it's, that it's not, you know, I, I do feel a lot of energy shifts when it comes to twin flame and soul re soulmate reunion the past couple months. I feel like 2020 has just brought a lot of purging, a lot of healing and cleansing energy, just clearing out karmic patterns, just lots and lots of breakthroughs and, and new starts coming throughout the re rest of the year for 2020. I think the first part of the year was more about purging, releasing. Is, it's like a giant collective tower moment that we all went through, and we're still going through it. You know, the rest of 2020 is going to be rough too, but I think we're starting to get more and more into that breakthrough energy where we finally you know, realize what all that purging and all that chaos was for, where we're finally, finally the calm after the storm, you know, the, the sun is starting to shine again a little bit here, I think, but, um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I'm always going to channel the story, I'm going to keep telling you what's going on, but again, it's, it's your destiny, it's ultimately up to you, if you've been going in circles for years and years, um, at a certain point, you can say enough is enough, no matter what the story is, you know, um, it's, it's your choice. I just want to let people know that as I do these love readings that like, you're not, you don't, you're not necessarily going to be alone if you give up on your person. You know what I mean? If you decide that you've had enough of this and you want to manifest somebody new and you want us to, to start telling a new story on, on, on the board here, um, we can do that. You know, it's, I'm, I'm channeling your energy. I'm channeling this energy group I read. So as I, as I pull the cards, it's like the story can change. It's it's your story. It's up to you guys. It's you guys choose your path. You know you can always can always manifest someone new if you want. But let's let's see what the cards say. Let's see where, where you guys are at. What is your um? So what do your guides want you to know about your love life right now? What do they want you to know about? Just whatever whatever the story is. You know what do they? What do your guides want you to know? What does your person want you to know? Please. Please, cards, just be clear, direct. Let me know what the story is. Make it very obvious and very clear. Manipulation, deception, hesitation and mixed feelings domination and control so this is either you walking away from the third party or just a toxic situation or this could be your person walking away from a toxic situation because you've been supporting them so we've got manipulation deception hesitation and mixed feelings we have domination and control which is tied to these we've got toxicity red flags hidden motives uh, pride and stubbornness a sense of belonging home safe space Publicity, social media, fear of commitment, hidden truth, and love offer, commitment. That's interesting. So it does really look like someone is pushing past their, they're doing their best to push past their fear for you. You know, I know it gets frustrating with these, um, these masculines though, because it's like they do want to push past their fear and, and sometimes they just, 
it's it's they're just difficult it's it they're they can be really stubborn you know that's why i always say i'm like you know it's your story your choice you we can tell a new story we can manifest new people if we want you know but this is where, what your person's telling you now um so for some of you i do think you are moving on from someone it's like you're kind of controlled like they had mixed feelings there's some ne deception going on you kind of felt controlled by your emotions for them but you know here we have pride and stubbornness it's like these two people are looking opposite directions like he's looking towards maybe towards like his career more like publicity and she's kind of looking more she's looking at these patterns she's looking at the past she's being introspective right now and looking at the past and thinking about the things he did or didn't do and you know they're both kind of going different directions and um let's see what else i can get here there might be some truth coming out on social media as well you know kind of realizing his fear of commitment as well as you guys communicate um and so some of you might be just be moving on and then i see this love offer commitment coming in because you started moving on it's like the energy shifted you know um i don't know again for some of you i don't know if you're gonna want it though i don't know if it's worth it it's like do they just want to have their cake and eat it too you know what i mean um for others, for those that are in like some kind of third party situation where another person or some situation has been distracting them, I feel like that is kind of coming to an end. Like it's just been really toxic here. Like we have manipulation and deception. I feel like your person has mixed feelings. Like they're not sure about the karmic, but the karmic is more dominant than they are. And so the, the karmic kind of blocks them from like being able to come forward like, but then they they have free will. It's their decision. You know what I mean? You've got to leave them accountable for themselves too. They're making that decision to stay. You know what I mean? They got to be stronger. But, but just from the energy I get from the readings, it's like, they do feel like a victim. They do feel like they're being controlled either. This could be from, this could be from an actual third party, like a person that they're with right now, but it could also just be past the past. Like it could just be an ex that they haven't gotten over or maybe like a pattern that they have with their exes that they haven't fully gotten over like just damage like maybe there was just someone they really loved and it's like they kind of marked a before and after period in their life where it just changed them like they didn't want to open their heart again after that and so they have these mixed feelings and they're they're thinking about how this person hurt them and deceived them how they ended up being toxic there's all these red flags and they don't trust their own intuition anymore they're like how did i not see the red flags with this person how did i not realize they had these hidden motives you know and so they feel kind of like dominant like this this karmic is like very um dominant you know and they feel controlled by their emotions by the they feel controlled by their if they still have feelings from that for them they still they feel controlled by those feelings they feel like they can't let them go completely um, or it could also just be the damage, like they're, they've moved on from the person, but the betrayal, like if they cheated or if they, you know, messed around with, with your person's friends, if they ended up just being toxic, manipulative, just kind of sort of like a sociopathic type energy where they just showed them the best, they kind of dragged them in, they did the whole sweet girl next door act, and then when they got them hooked like they did a complete 180 and their personality changed you know there's just some type of betrayal here where it's like your person has mixed feelings about everything now because of it like they have they don't trust their own intuition because of the damage um but again you know they have to take responsibility they can't play the victim their whole life at a certain point they have to decide do they want to stay stuck in the past or do they want to move on from that and have a future with you you know that's ultimately up to, for them to decide that and they do need to step into their power and make that decision but it looks like, yeah, it is It is kind of back and forth energy. Because, I mean, you are supporting them. Like, I do feel like you send them healing energy a lot. If you're not conscious of it, I don't know. But I feel like there's a lot of telepathic communication going on. Like, dreams and astral travel and that sort of thing. Because, you know, the last reading we got, like, your angelic energy is really helping me through this. Um, but it's just a process. It's like, right now, it seems like they're really kind of in their head. Kind of just afraid. Kind of in this little bit of a dark place where they're just still not trusting their intuition maybe they're getting more serious about committing and then their fears of commitment are kind of coming up as odd as that sounds it's like they get more serious about committing to you and then as they do that their fears of commitment 
sort of just start coming up because they're like, oh, my, oh shit, this is actually getting real. Like, this is a real relationship. This isn't just in my head anymore, you know? I'm actually really about to move away from, move out of the karmic's house, or I'm about to move, like, really cut my ex out and really start over with somebody new. Can I do this? Can I trust my intuition? Can I trust this person? Can I trust that it's not going to be the same as it's been with other people in the past? You know, your, your, your person has a lot of, whether they're with a karmic right now or not, or whether it could, again, it could just be past damage, just things that they're currently healing from. Um, but they're still just not trusting their intuition right now. They're afraid of trusting their heart completely. They don't know who and what is real and what isn't. They're kind of just figuring out who they are and what they want right now, it seems like. You know, it makes it makes sense. I mean, healing is a really messy process. Sometimes it's dark and, and hopeless, and then other times they're, you know, I could read these cards in a few days from now and get the energy of them feeling on top of the world and feeling like they've reached a breakthrough and they have this freedom and this new start. It's like when you're healing, it's almost like a bipolar type energy sometimes when you're in that healing energy because it's like it's all kinds of mixed emotions. It's like all this pain and darkness and um, purging and shadow work that they have to do. Um, but at the same time, like happiness and, and this energy of like breakthrough and finally having a new start and letting the past go. So it's lots of very passionate, heavy mixed emotions and that's kind of what i'm feeling from them now i'm feeling some sadness and fear right now just just not trusting themselves is, is the overall energy i get and you know i think that they were at a standstill with their person this is like pride stubbornness and i think they're looking towards their home they're looking towards what's going to make them happy they're kind of realizing how stagnant this was and they're trying to push themselves out of that stagnant energy they're like where is my safe space where is my home at and this might be tied to publicity and social media so again we got that before too where they might be stalking your social media and, and watching what you're posting and that something about publicity or they might be seeing you in public or trying to bump into you in public possibly like they're trying to maybe come to your work or maybe they know where you'll be like just that kind of energy where they're like thinking about how they could see you in public how could they pretend to bump into you in public and start a conversation um it's that kind of energy where they're looking towards their home they're looking towards what's going to make them happy and and yeah there might be some stuff on social media that they're posting or you're posting and they have had this fear of commitment but I feel like a hidden truth is about to come out. So that could be, again, tied to the social media. Like maybe you're going to speak your truth or maybe they're going to see that you're starting to move on, that you're getting tired of it. Or the hidden truth could even be on your side. It could be what you're feeling. It could be, you know, hey, I'm kind of tired of this. I'm done. I'm I'm, I'm not dealing with the fear of commitment anymore that you have. I, I want to go one way or another. Um, and so they're wanting to, to be brave and make you this, this love offer and come forward. So let's see what else the cards have to say about it. All right, so they're learning to trust their own intuition again. And whatever you're posting might be kind of drawing them to, to want to make a... They, there's just some kind of truth being revealed that's making them some kind of truth has just come out or some kind of truth is about to come out like maybe are you about to to just break down and tell them how it is is it something like that i'm wondering like there's just or maybe they're going to find out from mutual friends that you're that you're kind of tired of it or maybe you said something to mutual friends there's some kind of truth that's going to come out and it's going to make them be like oh shit i'm about to lose this person for real this time and they're they're scared that they're about to lose you for real. They're scared that you're not going to give them another chance. Um, and that, yeah, that's connected to some kind of hidden truth. So we'll see what that's all about. What is that all about? Let's see. Come on. Finances and career, truth and clarity. We got beauty, mystery, and enchantment. True love, potential life partner, trapped, blocked, tied up, make your move, green light, love offer, commitment, stagnation, complacency, and choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. See, I think they're kind of going back and forth right now because they want to play the victim and they just want to kind of be babied because I think they're so used to you 
I think they're so used to you being angelic and sweet and loving and patient with them. Like, we got that in the last reading. Like, you're, you know, I think the title was something along the lines of, you know, your angelic energy helped me move past my fear and doubt. And it's kind of it's, it's kind of interesting how this story is playing out here. Because it's like, I think they got used to that energy. I almost think they... I don't want to say they manipulated that energy, but they kind of took it for granted that you're just going to be their rock, you know? Even if they're, even if you're, uh, even if they are your rock too, it's like they just kind of took it for granted that you were just going to be there. And, and something you've said or done or something you're about to do, maybe you might be feeling this energy already, like feeling like you're about to snap on them, like you're about to just message them and just tell them how it is and just pour it out on them. Um, there's just something that's either already happened or like really close to happening. Like I'd say within like a week, probably maybe two at most, but there's something, something with, with like, like something you're going to say, or maybe something you're going to post on social media. There's just something going on with that right now. That's kind of scaring them and making them stop taking you for granted finally and making them think like, Oh shit, I'm really about to lose this person. You know, and I think he, maybe you really are getting over it. Like, maybe you you really are in that energy where you're just kind of like, like, look, you're focused on finances and career, and look how seductive she is. That's not someone you take for granted. Look at her, like her red. Look at her red lipstick here. Look at her red red lipstick and her mask that she's wearing and her earrings. Like, she's just ooh, that's like that's sexual energy right there too. She's just she's a seductress. Like, she's in her power. And that's how your person is seeing you right now. And I think the truth and clarity that's coming out, it could be that you are more focused on finances and career right now. And your, your masculine is feeling that energy. They're feeling that you're not, because there's an energetic, they can feel your energy you can, and you can feel theirs if you have a strong connection with them. So if you're not, like if you were in a period where you were kind of obsessing, kind of worrying about what they're doing or not doing, and now you're just kind of focusing on yourself more, kind of letting it go, letting, letting the universe bring whatever it wants to bring to you, you're focusing on your finances, your career, um, like they're feeling that you're focusing elsewhere, and so they're wanting to pull you back in, they're wanting your attention again. But I feel, it's, it's almost like a little boy like, you know, like, you see, like, a little boy and his mother at, like, the supermarket or whatever or at the mall, and it's, like, he kind of runs from her, and then he stops and, like, hides behind a, a chair or a table or whatever, and he looks to see if she's, she's still following him and still frantically trying to find him, and if, if he, if she is, then he runs further, but if she's not and she's pretending like she's, she's just walking, whatever, he panics and he thinks he's going to get lost in the mall and he runs after her. And I hate to compare them to little boys, but honestly, some of them are just little boys. Some of them, even if they're potential life partners, there's, again, you have multiple potential life partners and you, you know what your story is. You know what I mean? For some of you, this is your person that you want to spend your life with. For others, you have the option, again, of cutting this connection out and manifesting someone new. And if you guys, again, if you guys start manifesting someone new, that story is going to come up on the board here as I channel this energy group. So it's beautiful just how much control of your life and your destiny you have. You know, you have the option of cutting the cords that are no longer serving you. So it's up to you. Do you want this or not? You know, and some of you are going to are going to pass this up when it comes back around. Some of you are going to say it's not worth it. And others of you might end up staying, you know, taking this person back and even marrying them. But you, you might have other potential life partners out there that may be even better for you, you know. Um but yeah, I think the truth and clarity that's going to come out is like you're focused on your finances and career and they're feeling that energy. They're feeling that you're focused, that you're not focused on them anymore and you're focusing on yourself, on your hobbies, your career, the things that make the finances, the things that make you happy. You're just doing you. You're in your power. You're in this empress seductress kind of energy right now where you're just really taking your power back and you're really claiming your independence and just doing what you want to do with your life. You know, you're getting back that that energy back and you know that's, that's bringing truth and clarity to them that you know this beauty mystery enchantment like just being enchanted by you being amazed like wow i shouldn't have taken this person for granted but again like yes that energy will bring them back i think and they probably will end up making it does seem like they do want to make some kind of love offer or commitment but when that comes around you got to decide you got to be honest with yourself is it worth it 
is that going to last for you? Is this, is this really your, your, is this, because again, you want this life partner or do you want to manifest another one that might be on your level more? You know what I mean? Um, because yes, it is true love. It is a potential life partner, but you have multiple, you have more than one. So, so what do you want to do? Is this right for you? You know, you got to go inward and make those decisions. No one else can make them for you. Um, and you got to decide what cords you want to cut and what cords you want to keep. You know, it's like the world is your oyster right now. So it's a really beautiful energy. Um, and I think your person feels that you're, you're holding on to this cord and you're kind of like taking the blindfold off and looking at this cord like, ooh, do I want to cut this? Maybe I don't want this anymore. And it's inspiring your person. They're like, oh, shit, I better make my move. The light is green. Better go. Stop pulling up traffic. Um so I do feel I do feel based on this energy based on you standing in your independence and then feeling that energy shift I do feel a love offer coming in here I hate to say it but some of them might half ass it though because I see stagnation and complacency so it's like they have all this energy like oh shit I better do something I better do something I'm gonna lose them and then it's like there's a stagnation and complacency so that it's, they're like they kind of dive in and then they're like oh uh oh better slow down this is getting scary and they start being complacent and overthinking again and then they kind of come in more slowly this is choosing their words wisely planning their approach thinking things out saving face and, and being prideful too so it's like a love offer coming in but it, it might be there might be some pride mixed in there i'm not gonna lie <laughs> So that's what I'm getting so far. I hope this helps you guys. And if it if it resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me. I do these readings regularly. Um, if you want a private reading, all my contact info is below. And you know, go ahead and and yeah. Thanks for watching.